Hey, I'm here at a house my company's building with Michael Shu, Office of Architecture, and I want to talk to you about this gorgeous Ipe siding behind me. Ipe is a great product to use as a wood siding on a house. This tropical hardwood is super dense and super durable. This chocolatey brown color is gonna silver out over about a year's time, and it'd be my recommendation to not try and keep it this chocolatey brown color. If you do that, because Ipe is so hard and dense, it really doesn't take stain or sealers very well. My recommendation would be to let this silver out and gray out over the first year and just leave it that way. If we were to stain this or try to maintain that chocolatey brown color, you're really talking about an annual maintenance on this wood, and I don't think it's quite worth the maintenance. Let's take a look at what's actually behind this open joint rain screen, and we'll talk about a few of the best practice details we used here. All right, so let's see what's behind that Ipe board now. First thing I'm seeing, if you look at the back of that Ipe board, it's nice and dry. 48 hours ago here in Austin, we had a three inch rainstorm, and to see that board totally dry in the back, that's fantastic. We just have a little bit of moisture up here in the corner from where those screws were attached into the battens. And then this black material you're seeing through the open joints and behind, this is a permanently UV stable product. This is a house wrap by Casella Dorkin called Facade S that's specifically made for open joint installs. And if you're gonna use a super durable uh, rain screen siding like Ipe, you really need a super durable UV resistant background. This is really one of the only products I've seen out there that is able to do that. We're able to use up to two inch gaps, although in this case we used about a half inch gap. Last two things I wanna mention. You see this design here, we've run about six or seven foot boards and we've run those vertically. We broke those with a T-shaped uh, flashing piece right here that we had custom bent. And you can see where our Ipe lands at that T. We've got a nice eighth inch gap there so that really that Ipe is gonna be able to dry on the ends as well. You know, this project really came together nicely. These details are awesome. And we really enjoyed working with Michael Shu, Office of Architecture on these very specific details. I think this Ipe siding is gonna look gorgeous for the next few decades. If you'd like more information on any of these products or these best practices, you can visit my website at mattreisinger.com. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.